In our sixth portion of our Orbit series, we're going to take a look at pairing with another device. In this particular installment, we're going to look at pairing with an iOS device. And right now, we're going to just do it with my phone. It's a little bit easier uh, to do it that way uh, right now. So what we're going to do first is kind of talk a little bit about why we're going to do things the way we're going to do them. The phone itself is sort of the brains behind behind the operation, okay? The display is just sort of the, the means. So because we're, the main device we're using is the phone, it has to have the screen reader turned on, which is voiceover, and it has to be in uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth has to be enabled, obviously. But the other thing to tell you is that for the most part, all commands that work on other braille displays will work on the orbit. Because, again, the brains behind the operation is the iPhone, not the Polar, or not the uh, orbit. Sorry, I knew it was something to do with skies. Um, so that's, that's the reason. So we're gonna take a look here. I'm going to turn voiceover on on my phone, and I just have it set as a double, there's a triple click home. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay, so and then I went ahead and opened my phone. Just as a warning, my uh, screen time is, is set to kind of go a little bit dim, um, you know, kind of fast. So it might do it a little bit more than you would like during this particular um, time, during our time together. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to settings here. And I found that with my finger. Wow, that was really fast. I'm going to open her up. Okay. Now in the settings, we need to go to accessibility, or actually we need to go to general first, I lied. So, okay, now we found the general settings, so we're gonna double click, or double tap. Okay, perfect. So now we're open the settings, so now we have to find accessibility. Here it is. Double tap. So here's vision. And here's voiceover. And as we know, it's on already. So we're going to double tap. So that's the setting. Now, this is where the orbit comes in. We need to find the braille portion. So we're going to swipe forward or with to the right until we hear braille. Here we go, I'm gonna double tap. Now, oops, we're gonna double tap, there we go. Now we have, there we go, you're like, what? Okay. Now that the Braille settings are open, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna to try to pair the orbit. So first we have to turn it on. If near, it's gonna make its noise. And, so we're still in the Braille heading. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it will send the request. It wants to pair. So we want to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and allow it to pair. So we're going to double tap on pair. Okay. So now my orbit may or may not be paired. Now things that happen, sometimes it might interrupt this process, are that the Bluetooth on the orbit may be turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold in a space, a dot four and a dot seven. And it's going to say remote mode right on the display. And now I'm going to try again. Okay. It says it's connected. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a problem. It says the connection was unsuccessful, and that also might happen. So it's a good thing that all of these. Okay, I'm actually going to forget the device. Um, okay, it says it's not paired. Now, the reason I'm going through this with you is because you might come up with all of these challenges, any or all of them. So, especially the first time you pair your device. So I'm going to double tap on the orbit reader right here. Orbit reader, two, zero, two, zero, four, four, pairing, 
and it should be pairing. Okay, it says it's connected, so now I'm going to try again. So the thing I, I like to try is doing a space with an H to go to the home, to simulate the home button click, and it says no. So that's interesting that it's it seems to think that it's not connected. So I'm going to go ahead and try some problem solving. I'm going to try that dot seven dot four in space again just to see what it does, and then see if I can make it go. So sometimes these kinds of things will happen. So it does say remote Bluetooth on the display and it's not really doing a whole lot for me. Oh, there we go. Now, did you hear the, the display change? It said it's it, right away when I double clicked on it, it connected. So the reason we're kind of going through all of this is again, this could very well happen. So these are the troubleshooting tips that I have for you. If it doesn't connect right away, try turning your Bluetooth on or off with that command that I showed you, which is space.7 and dot four. And that does not work. Uh, go ahead and get the device to forget your orbit and, and start from the beginning. And if that also does not work, um, see, I told you this goes, this goes dark a little bit fast. So, uh, so if, and if that also does not work, double tap on your orbit uh, your orbit uh, name on your phone and ask it to connect. Now before we, uh, I'm going to go to the top of the screen here because I want to talk to you a little bit about the settings on your, on your voiceover on your device here. So there are a variety of braille settings on this device and we're going to kind of go through each one of them. So I'm going to do a forward, uh, a forward select key, a uh, right select key, go to my next thing and here's my braille. Okay, it's giving me contracted Braille as an output. Um, I can make a choice to choose another thing if I want to. If I wanted to, I would hit, uh, I would hit um, the um, select key. Copy, copy, open, So now I have some options. Uncontracted six dot, uncontracted eight dot. Contracted Braille. Contracted Braille. And I, I, you know what? I still want the contracted Braille. So I'm going to hit enter. Contracted Braille. I'm going to go up to the back button. Okay, so sorry about that. So then we, again, we have some choices. So here's our contracted and uncontracted braille. So my output is contracted braille. And it sticks me right up at the top. Once I've exited, it will pop me up to the top of the menu. Input is contracted. Braille speed input is six dot. Now that doesn't affect your orbit at all. Status cells, and and that's just giving you, letting you know which uh, cells are being used, um, if at all, to indicate where your cursors are. We're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, we're using NIMF code. We don't want to see the on-screen keyboard. That would be kind of making a mess. We want to turn pages when panning, and the reason we want to do that is if we are in like a iBook or another sort of. Uh, app that allows us to to navigate that way we we don't want to be constantly having to look for that next page button with our device so okay. word wrap on yeah we want that English. now this is another thing if you are comfortable with um, UEB Braille then you're going to keep it here um, most devices right out of the box um, will default to um, UEB. If you would like to use a different code as we went through before, you're going to do a select key. And I'm going to just go ahead and... English, US. English, United Kingdom. English, United Kingdom. English, US. English, So those are the all the three options that you can have because my phone just has English. And we're going to go back button. English, Okay. So, and, and then we're, oh, interesting. That's nice. It actually let me uh, go ahead and uh, um, pass that. It, it usually kicks you back up to the top, but it didn't do that this time. So alert display duration, that's just saying if there's an alert, it'll pop it up on the display for about three seconds. This is where you would manually choose a braille display. Now it's always searching. 
and our orbit reader and it's connected. Now, if I wanted to disconnect the reader, there are a couple of ways I could do that. I could um, turn my phone, uh, just turn the screen off. I could go in and manually disconnect it. If I hit my um, power button key to make my phone just kind of turn off here. And what my display will say is it will say Bookshare because that is the item that is on my uh, SD card. So it'll take you right back to the SD card. If I turn, if I press my home button and, and reactivate my phone, you hear that bonk and a lot of times it will, it will reconnect itself automatically. Once you've connected it one time, it is easier to reconnect it. So that's pretty much what I have to say on that topic. If you have questions, please feel free to make them uh, known in the comments below. I've had a couple of people ask questions and I've responded to them. If, if you have more, please feel free to, um, let me turn that off. Please feel free to share them. In the next installment, I would like to start going over using the Braille display with the, the uh, Orbit with the Chromebook. And that's a, a has been a very big um, need in at least in Wisconsin. So I hope you enjoy and thanks again.